Gladys. This assembly video works for both the Gramercy and Urban Crib and Changer. Make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you're working with the correct hardware is to compare them with the illustrations that come in the instructions. The first step is to attach the rails to the side of the changer, and for this you will need 4 barrel nuts, 4 75mm bolts, 4 37mm metal pins, and the provided allen wrench. Don't forget to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. The second step is to put the shelves and shelf supports. For the top support, the screw hole should be facing upwards. When putting in the shelves, make sure the small notches are on top and the bigger notches are on the bottom. That's it. The second step is to attach the other side of the changer. And for this, you will need four 75 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, and four 37 millimeter metal pins. And don't forget the provided Allen wrench. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through.
fourth step is to attach the safety strap. And for this, you will need one 18 millimeter bolt, one nylon washer, and your provided Allen wrench. That's it. The fifth step is to attach one side of the crib and one crib end to the changer. For this, you will need four 75 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, two 37 millimeter metal pins, and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to always use the labels as guidance. Remember to put the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. The sixth step is to attach the mattress support. And for this, you will need four 18 millimeter bolts and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to use the highest position for your newborn and then go downwards as your child grows. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. That's it. The seventh step is to attach the other side of the crib. And for this, you will need four 75 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, two 37 millimeter metal pins, and the provided Allen wrench. In order to make this step easier, you can loosen up one of the sides of the mattress support. You can tighten up the corner of the mattress support again. Remember to insert the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. And that's it. The last step is to put the mattress on the changer. That's it. Remember to put the instructions back in the pouch they came in. You're going to need them later. Congratulations, you've just assembled your crib and changer. 
now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you put away? You're going to need them. The first step is to detach one of the sides of the crib, and for this you will need the provided Allen wrench. Remember, the mattress support should be on its lowest position since your child is now bigger. In order to make this step and the next step easier, you can loosen up one of the sides of the mattress support. Now we're going to attach the stabilizer bar, and for this we will need two 75 millimeter bolts, two barrel nuts, and two 30 millimeter metal pins, and the provided Allen wrench. Remember to put the barrel nut sideways so the bolt can go through. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Don't forget to tighten the corner that we loosened earlier. Congratulations, now you have a day bed. Toddler guard rail and bed conversion rails are available for purchase.